Hey guys, welcome back to Cajun Hard Talk. I'm Jay and Ross. Today we're talking about 2012 Sinisters. Ooh. So grab a beer, grab a cup of coffee. Let's talk horror. Right, guys, Sinister from 2012. We're looking at a runtime of one hour and 50 minutes. 150. Yep. A little shorter than that. Um, budget of $3 million. It showed. Ish. And a worldwide gross of $82.5 million, which I think they came out ahead on this uh, one. Yeah, I think we'll call that a success. Yeah. Uh, Rotten Tomato scores this movie at a 64%, and the audience score is a 61%. Um, Really amazed at that. That the yeah, I'd, I'd, was low. I I'd, really I'd, I'd bet higher on that. I would have thought so as well. As creepy as hell as this fucking movie is, I'd have bet the over on that one, Jimmy. Yep. Uh, cast: mm-hmm. The director was Scott Derrickson. Yep. Uh, Ethan Hawke plays Ellison Oswald. Ellison. For Ellison some Oswald. Godforsaken reason, his name is Ellison. In because this movie. when you have a writer, you have to have a pretentious name. I don't think it gets more pretentious than Ellison does. Yeah, I can't think of nothing offhand. I'm really trying to think of something more pretentious than Ellison. I can't think of it. I think any white guy named Trevor. I think that's a, that's a solid statement. Yeah, think, and we're about to get hate mail from all the white guys named Trevor. Yeah, probably so. But I'm just yeah. it's just it's one of those things. Um, Juliet Rylance plays Tracy. Yeah. Claire Foley plays Ashley. Murderous slow shit. Yeah. Michael Hall Diodario plays uh, Trevor. Trevor. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought you did that on purpose. You no, I that? did not. I really thought you I did that on purpose. I forgot his name was Trevor. I really thought you did that on that's purpose. That's awesome. Yeah, good good callback. Wow, so that's, that's a bunch of pretentious names in this fucking movie. <laughs> no shit. He just, it's pretension, begetting pretension. Yeah, it's like a Starbucks ad. All right. Fred Thompson plays the sheriff. James Ranson plays the deputy. Nicholas King plays Bagul. 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 Stop provoking his name. <laughs> no. Don't say it five Say his times. name five times, something <laughs> fucked up's going to happen yeah. in there, and I'm leaving. I'll stick with Beetlejuice. Hey, where are the children? And Vincent D'Aronfrio, sorry, I'll always fuck up his name. Yeah, I knew it was about that. Yeah, uh, plays Professor Jonas. Jonas. Um, yeah, the, the cult professor, which was an awesome little uh, Yeah, so easy plot for this movie, guys, it. is uh, Ethan Hawke plays a true crime writer who Named had Ellison. some- Yeah, who had some success- Ten years prior, yeah, and has yet to reach that success again. Yeah, so he, he moves his family into the house <laughs> of a dead family. Yeah, yeah, he did he in did. the same house where they were murdered in the backyard by the backyard. One of, one of a fucking tree, and they the, were hanged. The child is still missing, and does not tell the fucking wife. Does not tell the wife that this is the, the house that should happen in. What, what do you think? That's not going to come out. Oh no, that's coming out. You live in a. You, it's Moving a small town. small town. Everybody's talking shit. If somebody moved around us, it'd be like, no, don't live over there. You know the shit that happened over there? Yeah. What the fuck's Everybody wrong with you? there died. Yeah, they all so did. He, um, throughout the movie, he finds some eight millimeter, eight millimeter tapes. Yeah. That, um, Which he does not bring directly to, to the cops. The cops because he's a fucking idiot. For some fucking reason. Uh, because he's the father of a Trevor named Ellison. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> This dude yeah. was born to die. How is he not fucking... Which, I guess you could say that about all of us. Say, yeah, we all are. I, I'm surprised this dude wasn't writing about this shit on a laptop at Starbucks, yelling at people about how they're interfering with his writing. Right. You're fucking up my process, man. So, um, he finds the tapes. It shows murders on it. He doesn't go to the cops. Do you find murderous films in your fucking house? Finds a demon in the films. Yeah. Still doesn't go to anyone. Still. No. Moves, because creepy shit. Yeah. And then gets murdered by his kid. Yeah. That's the plot That's of the movie. That's the essential plot line of this movie. Stupidity following stupidity following pretentious writing following stupidity. Yeah. Well, the writing for the movie isn't pretentious. No. The he, writing he's doing is pretentious. pretentious. I'm not calling the writing for the movie pretentious. Yeah. The movie yeah. was actually written very well. Scared the living shit out of me. I just imagine Gosh, anything yeah. that Ellison's writing Let, is very fucked. Let's, let's go into our commentary about this. Let's just say this movie is one of those movies that scares the shit out of me. Oh, amazingly. Absolutely. There's not many movies left that can scare me. This Sinister one, is one of those movies. This one never, made me jump multiple times after I've already seen the fucking movie. Yeah, and Sinister it still never, made me jump it, multiple it, times. It never fails to impress. Yeah. 
when it comes to the scares for me. Absolutely. It, a lot That's of you got to watch it like a man. You got to turn the lights off and, and watch it alone. Yeah, I watch it at three o'clock in the afternoon. Nah, you got to watch this shit at midnight with all the lights out. On my phone with my headphones in, with my kids watching a cartoon in the background, just to make everything feel better. And still, still, for a certain jump point, jump scare. Yeah. Drop my phone Wh- in my which, face. Which one got you? Which which one actually the got you? The lawnmower one got the you. The lawnmower one gets the me. fuck out I of me every time. I fucking jumped. I, fr- I don't know how I forgot. No, because you, you get so caught up in the fucking movie, you're not thinking about it. It got me in the movies. It got me when I bought the DVD for the movie. It got me when I bought it, when I rented it the first time when it was on, I ran yeah. it on video on demand. And it got me this time. I think it's kind of like uh, your boy Lipstick Face. That one scene that always fucking catches me. There's some broad fucking daylight. Yeah, and it catches me every damn time. Yeah, that one's a good one. It always always makes me. But the overall tone of this movie, um, especially the score and the music that was played throughout, a lot of this movie was actually not dialogue. A lot of it was just Just atmosphere, atmosphere and action. This movie actually won a Chainsaw Award uh, for the best score. It also won a Fright Meter Award for the best score, and it won a Golden Trailer Award for the best horror TV spot. And I can definitely see where all of those things happen. I, I. can't dispute any of those. No, they, they did I can't. Amazing. What was it up against in 2012? Pull it up while I talk. 2012. Let's see. Um, so let's go to the lighting in this movie. I saw a lot of people complaining on Rotten Tomatoes about how they didn't like how dark this movie was. I the, love that. How about the fact that you don't turn on fucking lights when you hear strange well, noises in your house? I turned on lights during the movie. <laughs> the here's fuck the is this dude walking around with a, with a ghost? Part of this movie, I understand part of this movie is filmed during a power outage, but it was like this motherfucker was poor and didn't want to pay a light bill. Yeah. There were no lights turned on in this house at any given fucking time. Oh, he was up against a woman in black in 2012. Uh, yeah, the possession, that wasn't that good. Silent Hill, and God, ah, the house at the end of the street. 2012 was a fucking bad year for horror, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, that's paranormal. Like 24. Oh, Abraham Lincoln versus zombies. I thought he was versus Vam- Abraham Lincoln vampire hunter. I thought, yeah, was- you didn't see that. I didn't see the zombies. I read though. the book. It was great, really good. Uh, oh no! Uh, yeah, oh, the devil too. inside. Oh, there it is. Uh, VHS. VHS. Yeah. Uh, Which Lord a lot, we're going to have to explain that, was... that to a lot of people who start talking about VHSs. You guys yeah. know what a VCR is? Lords of Salem. That was disappointing. Go, go to your local thrift store. I'm trying to look. The woman see. in black, of course, what pops up again. Look, wrong right? turn 37. Yeah, I'm so done with the wrong turns. That was what? Wrong turn five. There's yeah. five of these fucking movies. I think there's six now. Sorority Party Massacre. Oh, I guarantee oh, really you there's some titties that. in that movie. Yeah, I can promise I you that. I promise you there's some titties in that movie. Oh, The Collector came out that year. Was it ah, a Collector or Collection? Uh, scroll down. Where the fuck are you at? That's The Collection. Oh, the collection. Yeah. That one was a good one, too. Collector is underrated, man. Uh, well, another one that I haven't seen. So, yeah, pretty much, guys, they're, they're, yeah. Sinister wasn't up against much in 2012. I, I think it could have been up against some, some more heavy hit movies yeah, and still would have stood the test of time. Like, it, it did really well as far as... They, had this tone and it maintained that through the entirety of the movie. And it's it's an oppre- it's oppressive tone. It's an yeah, oppressive, very really. It gives you the fucking the freeze on. Gives you the freeze on. Gives you the freeze on throughout the whole movie. Those that means it made you goosebumps. Yeah, in case you're not from South Louisiana, that means it gave you the chills. You mean if we have by some odd stroke of luck, we actually reach out to someone who's not in our own state? Yeah, yeah. yeah that gives happen. you it gives you goosebumps. It, it, it gives you the freeze on. Hashtag it. Um, the score, like you said, the score was perfect for this movie, especially the, the creepy the creepy score through whenever the eight millimeter tapes were playing. Yes. Very, very fucking eerie. And yeah. it just it, that slow fucking build throughout the entirety of the fucking movie. Um so after all, the first time when he starts hearing the footsteps and he starts hearing shit and getting that creepy feeling around his fucking house, um, he finally does a sensible thing and he decides he's gonna call law enforcement. Yeah. Only it's 2012. How the fuck did he get in touch with an operator? <laughs> yeah, I know. Who did he call? How do you even do that anymore? Can you still do that? Is there somebody there? You have a smartphone. It's 2012. Why aren't you looking up the number to the fucking the police department of the well, sheriff's office? Do you dial zero about? still? I, I don't know. I've never done. I'm going to have to check that out whenever we finish filming. I'm, I really want to know if you can still reach an operator. Oh, God. That, that because really, I want to I know the, when's the last time you've heard town. of anybody being working as a fucking operator. Yeah. There are none. And this, that's, that's, is, this isn't insane. that long ago, guys. I didn't think about that when I watched it. It's 2012. I, let that go. I also think uh, they, they, missed a very big, uh, they missed a very big opportunity in this movie. If you notice, the house that they move into, uh, in several scenes in the background, they have an intercom on the wall. Oh, yeah. Boy, that would have been that'd, I, They could have done some, they could have some very creepy shit with the intercom. I was actually expecting Especially with it. little kid ghosts. Yeah. I was okay, a, can we get on the subject of little kid ghosts real dude, quick? Dude, fuck little kid ghost. Dude, I'd Little rather, kid ghosts are I'd rather, freaky. okay, here's the, here's the order of scariness, right? <laughs> Little kid ghosts, 
Creepy old lady ghosts. Yeah. Creepy young lady ghosts. Yeah. Creepy old men. Creepy young men. Yeah. I that's think, the order of scariness. I, I think that's fair. And then creepy animals. I think that's fair. At the bottom. I, when you said the, uh, the creepy young women, look, I got that scene from... Uh, Oh God! Is it the Conjuring? It's Insidious. The uh, the look what you made me do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, fuck that, that noise. No. Fuck that. Not at and everything all. it stands for. Yep. But no, seriously, creepy little kids, creepy old ladies, creepy younger ladies. <laughs> yeah. Creepy old men. I'm thinking like uh, the girl from this movie, Mary Shaw, the girl from The Conjuring. Yeah. Um, you, have you seen The Conjuring too? Yes. When the, the old man's like my house. <gasps> yeah. Okay. That's another jump scare that guy. got me in the movie. That guy. Yeah. The creepy and then. Just random ghost guy like Patrick Swayze from Ghost at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Young yeah. young dudes ghosts Swayze. aren't really You don't see a lot of middle aged men with like ghosts. Ghosts that no, just because they're really not know. scary. You really no, they're not. That's probably exactly why. The little girls from the fucking shining, fuck those twins. Yeah. No. You see, that's fucking scary. I'm gone. I'm that not little fucking, fucking staying that, there. Little, that little creature from the grudge. Yep. No. Nope. Fuck that thing. Speaking of the creature from the grudge, what's up with this fucking Trevor in the box in this fucking movie? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fuck. So his kid has night terrors. Does he? Jesus. Finds Mary him outside. And Joseph. For some reason, this kid crawled in a fucking box I, d- and comes out logic. backwards movie doing logic. the uh, from the grudge. Yeah. Doing some fucking uh, exorcist. Okay, walking first, down the fucking first stairs we're backwards. Help. Shit. First, we're getting him help. Dude, did you notice in the movie? Even it's his own fucking son. It still took him a solid thirty seconds before he approached the box. He's like, yeah. "What the fuck?" Thank you. That tells you it's not just night terrors. There's something else There's going something on. Something else going on there. You call a psychiatrist. Oh yeah, they can't help. You call an I, old I, priest and a young priest. Yeah, and, the psychiatrist has two weeks. Yeah, if you can't fix you the kid, I'm bringing it back to the hospital. You're gonna give well, me no, a new no, one. No, 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 no. no. We'll, we'll go gonna, to a priest. That kid's only nine. He's got to be under warranty. Yeah, I, you know, old priest, a young priest, and a movie actress mom. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't work. We drop him off at the fire station. We pin a $20 bill to his collar. Wish him the best of luck. Best of luck. Look, $20, he's y'all's. Because I'm, that shit's not staying with me. Yeah, no. Then he finds him out in the fucking bushes. Yeah. Fuck this little kid. Yeah. No. That kid got the fucking cocoon living in him. Dude, that, that, that's how you get shot. Yeah. I, I would have I shot him before I realized it was my son. <laughs> I would. Oh, shit. I'm he so sorry. He was half naked crawling out of a box. Backwards. Backwards. Yep. Yeah, that's like I'm telling you. And they can think say of, night terrors all they want. His eyes were open. Yeah, fuck that. I've never experienced night terrors. I have any experience with it. Um, I do your, ex- I, please, somebody in no, the comments. No, but I will say I do have experience us. with sleepwalking itself. You can't do that shit with your eyes open. Really? Very. But you look awake. Oh, it's fuck creepy. that. It's creepy as shit. So I, I would imagine that night terrors would have. That, that's not sleepwalking. That. That's the devil. Oh no, dude! I slept walk for the first fucking fifteen years of my life. And how many parts of Philly split the sun? That's the freaking devil, dude. Occasionally, sometimes it still fucking happens. But I've never crawled in a box or hidden the bushes. Yeah, that, yeah. Or walked down Pornichet. Yeah, that happened. Really? Pornichet on the podcast? Yeah. It happens. <laughs> that, well, well, there goes our, uh, our anonymous factor. Yeah. It happens. You jackass. Ain't nobody knows where that's at. There's a Pornichet in Michigan, just saying. There is. Yeah. There's, Actually. Yeah. I know there is. I'm very much aware of that. Can we All bring right, up so the fact the that fuck Bagul... With the kid in the box? Wait, stop saying the fucker's name. <laughs> Can we bring up the fact that Bagul is scary in his own way? Yeah, he's fucking scary. He's creepy as shit. But he's like, but, he's like pervert creepy. Yeah. He's, he's, like, he's like scary pictures cre- scary. Yeah. But not physically intimidating. Because nah, no, think about really. it. You put him up against any horror movie villain. He's getting fucked up. They're going to fuck his he, world He's up. getting fucked up. I loved one of the... Uh, probably the easiest... Um, editing scene that they did that was creepy as shit was on the computer where uh, his oh, where face turns, turns and on looks the at him? computer and stared at him. That, yeah. was, that was just fucking creepy. But I'm serious. Think about it, any horror movie villain. I think Chucky could whip his ass. Eh, dude, Chucky was a badass though. You don't give Chucky enough credit just because he was small. Okay, okay. Chucky, okay. Chucky's badass. Think, okay, what, what, other, what other horror movie villains? Talking about? about the... Uh, Freddy would fuck him up. Oh, Freddy. Yeah, Freddy would fuck Jason, him up. Jason, but Jason's a fucking tank. Jason will yeah. fuck him up. Michael would fuck him up. I don't think Michael would give him the time of day. Michael would just keep going about his business. <laughs> Michael might just keep walking. Fuck yeah. that guy. <laughs> fuck that guy. Well, you've seen him do that in times. Like, just All like, right. Eh, no. So while he's watching an 8mm film, another shot that I, I really loved in here was the reflection in the glasses of the the slitting of the throat. Yes. You didn't see it directly on the screen. Yeah, you saw it in the awesome cinematography reflection right of his fucking glasses. I thought that was an amazing shot. Okay, so what do you do when you find a video of you being, hanging in your own attic? You get the fuck out. You leave. And what? again, little kid hands all over you. All around you. And there's a video of somebody perspective that shouldn't be there. Yes. 
yeah, I'm out. I'm gone. I'm done. Yeah. I live alone. If I wake up tomorrow and there's a picture of me sleeping on my phone, I'm burning the fucking house down. I'm done. <laughs> I'm out. I'm completely out. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm coming to live with. I'm coming to live with you. <laughs> I'm moving over here. What happened? I want to talk about it. Right. There's a picture of me right. sleeping on my phone. I'll just sleep in the studio. Yeah, I'm just gonna sleep right here on this fucking table. Yeah. Knowing my luck, the camera will turn on and start fucking watching <laughs> me. Just start watching you. Some random the bitch shit. The ring. He'll call him back at the bitch from the rings and crawl out the camera. Uh, yeah, uh, something uh, uh, fucking uh, the, backwards, the upside down, and shit with all this crap going on. Yeah, the fucking seeing yourself on the videotape. Get the fuck out. I don't know. The, I hate to say people deserve to die, but if you ignore that many fucking warnings, yeah, you yeah. kind of had it coming. Yep. Um, your kid killing you, man. That's scary. Yeah, that's people because, complain about the ending of this movie. Well, it was a really effective ending. It really was. It really was. Yeah. How do you how do you make that any more vulnerable yeah. than have your own child? Yeah. And the line she fucking used. Which? The line she fucking used right before she got was, don't worry, daddy, I'll make you famous again. Right. What the fuck? Yeah, which brings us to... It's a kill count! Whoop. Is the kill count. Today's kill count for the Sinister is... Four. Ooh, four. So you're, count, a, you're counting the little girl then. I'm counting the little girl, because here's the thing. She wasn't. She didn't die. She, she vanished into the film. She I mean, vanished I'm, in the film where Bagul... You say that name one more time, I'm going to come across this fucking table. <laughs> or the demon is eating her soul. There you go, demon. We like it. But well, who's yeah. eating her? Okay, but uh, you didn't count Reagan as a death in The Exorcist? She didn't die. But the demon was eating her soul? She, she didn't was disappear. Possessed. She was possessed. You don't know what. I haven't seen the second part of this movie, so I don't know what the fuck happened to the little girl. To the little girl? The little girl at the end of Sinister. He did, she, like she, same thing she, happened to the rest of the kids. Like she's just in the film forever. Yes, okay. she's a right. ghost. I guess, okay, we'll count that. She's not a ghost if she still has a fucking body. All those little kids and that and those, that was, their hands are on him and shit. The little pool boy and all that shit. Yeah, are they dead? Well, I don't know. I'd imagine. So. Considering one of them looked like he was fucking decomposing. I mean, possibly, but they're he's also dead. in. Well, we'll, we'll count her as dead. They're dead. We'll count her as dead. I'm not going to say she's a ghost, though. No, I've never fought so hard to convince somebody a child is dead before. But, 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 this but, kid is dead. She's, she did not actually physically die, is all I'm saying. She disappeared she, with, a, with Bagul. Yeah, she did. She went into the fucking film. Her uh, but, Bagul went into the film. Yeah. And he's yeah, he fucking, fucking he carried her, which was fucking creepy as shit, by he the way. Th- threw some Tony Satries on her. I mean, he, he might have. Marinated but, and deal seasoning. But, but he was, he, eating he, was he eating her soul? Because yes. her fucking, she still had a physical body. Yeah, which disappeared. Yeah. Now he just I, has her soul. We'll, we'll count her as a kill. We'll count her that's as a kill. The, that's what the, that's Can the a cult? ghost and a zombie come from the same person? Because that'd be a weird meetup. Right? I didn't think about that. That'd be a weird fucking meetup. I kind of want to. Because that's what the cult <laughs> professor said, that he feeds on the souls of children. Yeah, yeah, he did. But the cult perfect, professor had a shit ton more knowledge than what I think a normal person would have had. Yeah, which, can we talk about that too? Uh, uh, you that you just, know its purpose in the film was just He just to, shows up, dumps exposition, and leaves. Yeah. I don't know. I would like to find out how much Vincent D'Orofrio, D'Orofrio made for this movie. Probably more than you would think, I, I would imagine. To show up for five minutes total runtime just to dump some dialogue and leave. Yeah. All over Skype. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. That's the easiest paycheck anybody's ever made. <laughs> that definitely happened. That's the only. That's one of the things I don't really care for this movie. It, well, it's, it's because a, they didn't. They didn't let it naturally unfold. Yeah, in they the don't movie. let you figure they, it they, out. The, they just kind of. They kind of show you everything here. Boom. Yeah. By the way, this on. is the occult symbol. This is what happens. This is Bagul shit. This is what happens yeah. when Bagul comes in. Then yeah, it's just kind of. Oh, which I, I drew his picture right here. Yeah, of course you did. On the wall. Yeah, it's about the whole wall's about to come down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> about, to, about to knock the fucking wall down. <laughs> I play it with no fucking demons of it. Oh, I will, I will by the show way, up with a super soaker filled with holy water and douse this fucking place. I was about to say, I went to your apartment and I, I did some cute art on the wall. No, that's cute. I drew it on the wall. Yeah, you're going to die in your sleep. <laughs> I'm going to do it behind your couch. Yeah, you're, you're going to die in your sleep. <laughs> I'll draw it behind your couch and just see what happens. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Well, tell you what, whenever you disappear into the fucking film with Bagul. Come back and tell me whether or not you're dead. Okay, so what do you do when your kid's drawing this? Uh, you hit them with a rolled up newspaper. No. 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 We rub their nose in it. Yeah, dude, they're definitely, <laughs> they're definitely going to a fucking psychiatrist. Bro. Like, well, look at the little boy in the fucking movie. Trevor drew the, the people hanging at school. At school in permanent marker. Yeah, he did. 
And he's like, eh, eh it happens. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not every, how you handle Every that now and then, kids, you know, draw, you know, multiple murder scenes yeah. on the blackboard. No, your kid needs help, bro. That's- he's super tenacious. He doesn't, he doesn't want to worry about it. You, you can tell that by the old man jacket he wears for the entire fucking film. I yeah. hated that jacket. Worst wardrobe choice ever. I hated that fucking He jacket. had to look pretentious. It wasn't enough to give him the name Ellison. You're lucky he wasn't wearing a sweater vest. I'm lucky he wasn't wearing an Ed Hardy t-shirt. Oh, that have been good. I think I would have preferred that to the fucking the, the old man sweater. I would have. You know that you know that sweater smelled like mothballs. Yeah, it just looked and like brew. It looked like something that one of my, my grandfather gave away to uh, Goodwill. It smelled like mothballs and brute. Yeah. That was just God, it was horrible. I swear that thing was fucking recently knitted. Yeah. So rating wise, what are you looking at for this one? Uh what do, what do you think? I got trying to think of where I want to place this, because I'm gonna go with a thirty two. Where are you sitting at? I'm saying a 38. 38? That's pretty fairly close enough. Uh, Yeah, because I don't want to give it a 40 because I gave some really good movies a 40. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm kind of down a lower end. I really enjoyed the movie that had... It's, oh. it's, here's the thing. I can't rate it too low. I can't rate it too low because this is one movie that actually scares me. Me too. I, I, I can't take that from it. Yeah. I, mean, I can't deny that. And for that. all y'all, y'all horror movie watchers, like, oh my God, I can't believe you're scared of horror movies. If horror movies don't scare you, why the hell are you watching them? Yeah, well. You're just wasting your time. And this thing, most don't. The whole, well, yeah, but when you find those ones that actually do yeah. give you a good jump scare, like, I can watch, you want that creepy feeling, that fucking yeah, that I watch, scare factor. I can watch Freddy pull somebody's veins out of their I arms do, look, and I'm walk sorry, like a puppet. Slasher films, Freddy, like Michael, I haven't been scared by a jump scare since I was a fucking kid yeah. with any of them. Yeah. But with your... The paranormal scares is what gets me nowadays. You know, it was a one jump scare from a slasher that got me, and it was in the trailer. What was that? Halloween 2018. In the fucking uh, trailer the, when the, she opens the fucking the closet, closet door. Scene. Yeah, the closet scene. Oh, and my they God. put that in the damn trailer. I know. It, 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 don't even get me started on that. But, yeah, that's one jump scare that actually got me as an adult. But, yeah, I'm giving it a 38. I got it. Yeah, I'm going to stick. There's a lot of good things about this. There's a lot of good things about this movie. Like I said, it still it still scares me. It's just I don't like the exposition, exposition dumps they give you. Yeah. Instead um, of letting the story naturally unfold, yeah, it, it kind of it's kind of insulting to the the person watching the movie. Then he had to make a lot of really dumb choices to get to where you needed him to go. Anybody other than Ellison would have survived this movie. Yeah. Anybody yeah. other than Ellison. Yeah. 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 Exactly. All right, guys. Well, he's giving it a thirty-two. I'm giving it a thirty-eight. Um, find us on Facebook, on Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, um, I'm, the, I'm the Twitter guy now. Subscribe, like the video, follow us on SoundCloud, and if you ain't got nothing else. Nothing else? I got nothing else, guys. All right, guys, we're out.